Yes and no. When we live in the West, I was thinking about this actually just the other day. When we, when we lot grow up here, you know, a lot of Punjabis, they say to me, Tusi to bachi, tusi change bachi ho. Tusi ethe dehe ho, tusi change ho. Sadde varge loki na asi bade tidde ne. Asi siddha ni hege. We're not straight minded. You lot here, you're straight. You're, you're, you're like, you know, what you say, that's what you do. People in India, they'll say one thing and do the complete opposite. Yeah? It's built into their system to, to be fake at the face. But we prefer to be more genuine. Right? So in a way, we are, when we decide to follow something, people in this country, they follow it properly. Many, many good Indian people in this country, when they see Sikhi, they, they believe in Guru, they try following it, it works, they go, you know what, I'm going to do it properly. They don't want to do Pakhand. Yeah? But in India, Pakhand has become part of their system. They don't see anything wrong with it, they just do Pakhand normally. So it's very hard to get them to be straight. But at the same time, it is true that when we live in this world around here, if you start to follow this path of Amrit or Sikhi and Bani and Simran and Rehat, Kesh, Panchakar, people will look at you as if you're strange. In reality, they're nuts. You found the truth. Satchai ehi hai na, ki they are gone completely mad. They don't realize what life is about. They're Atma, an Atma completely in control of Homme. Completely. And they're interested only in following these things. They want to be lustful as they want. They go, what's wrong with it? You said, that's not your true nature. Your true nature is not to be lustful. They go, that's, that's how I feel. But your feelings are deceptive because they change. But your Atma is not deceptive because it stays the same. So they're living a completely, what you might say, um, Bemuk kind of life. Yeah? Or Manmuk life. They just follow whatever they want to do. They don't follow any, any guru, no teachers. There's no guidance. And you will come across people that will call you strange for following your guru. But I want to ask you guys a question now, okay? This is my time to ask you a question. Okay. On this side, okay, the hundred of the most intelligent, educated and accomplished people on the world right now, okay? Or even have been, a hundred of them. On this side is our ten gurus. Now it's, just, it's a blind test, you can close your eyes please, yeah? And so when you answer, no one's going to know what you answered, alright? So close your eyes for a second. Okay. Now those of you, okay, who would listen, uh, those of you that would listen to the ten gurus, over and above anything that those hundred people were saying. So there was a conflict, and the hundred people said one way, but the ten gurus said no, it's this way. So put your hand up if you would follow the ten gurus. Put your hand up if you follow the hundred people. Put your hand up if you're asleep. Some people didn't answer. So, maybe so guess it. So here's the thing, right? 90% of you said, 99% pretty much said that you'd follow the Gurus. Okay? So in your head you already know the Gurus, they have the highest wisdom. That's what you're saying. You already believe that the Guru's wisdom is the highest wisdom. Right? So my second question to you is this. If you think the Guru's wisdom is the highest wisdom out there, then following the Guru must be the highest thing that you can think about. Because nothing else you can think of is better. So you're, you know when people say, follow your dreams, be the greatest you can be. The greatest you can think about, you just all confirmed, the greatest you can think about is what the Guru is saying. So the greatest thing you can think about is to be a Gursik. That is the, what you're saying. Whether you realize it or not, is actually what you're saying. Is the greatest thing to be is a Gursik. Because you can't think of anybody with higher wisdom. So therefore, start following it. And forget what the world thinks. And you know what's cool about this world, in the Western world? They will actually respect you if you follow your dream. You go into work, you tell everybody, guys, I found my guru. I'm going to start following Sikhi now. You're going to see a few changes in me. Don't worry about it. I'm the same person. I'm not judging you. This is just me. I want to follow it. They'll say, cool, man. No problem. That's it. It's all about freedom here. Follow your dreams. 
I've seen people, Kani Paji, I don't know if I can keep my dadi open, you know, it's going to be awkward. I said, just try it. <coughs> Went to work, dadi open, two weeks, no one even said a word. No one even noticed. And they go, what's, what's that wrong with you? What's that different about your face? <laughs> he goes, yeah, I've been keeping my bed open. Oh, where was it? <laughs> that was quick. They go, no, no, it was just always tied up. They go, oh, I can't believe it. They don't care, really. They don't care whether you've got a bug on or not. They don't care. They will accept you. Your Indian mates are going to be more hard, more hard work than the, than, the, than the Gori and the Kali. They'll be like, cool. Indians are going to be like, man, I don't know, man. You. Because you know what they feel? They'll feel like if you're going to become religious, then you might judge them. Well, you're better than me now, boy. Pretty good mukh ban gaye. Start joking, Baba ban gaya. Ain't it? That's, your, that's what your Indian Punjabi mates will do. You start keeping your kiss, and your mates will go, what? You know hanging out? We're not good enough for you now, yeah? Can't come out clapping with us now, yeah? Because you've got a turban on and that. See, I can't. It's a Guru's root. So, you'll have to start to take some people out of your life. Those that bring you down, they're not really your friends. They just liked you because you were with their mates when you went clubbing with them. Because you were like this, you know, their sort of uh, right hand man when you went out on the pool. Yeah? The minute you start doing your own thing, you're not their mate anymore. They don't want you for that. They wanted you for a purpose. The ones that like you for you, the ones that respect you for you, they'll be with you. Yeah? So you get to work out who your real friends are. Who really like you are the ones that just, you know, want to use you or want to sit in your car and go out clubbing. Okay? So I don't think it's harder. I think actually some ways it's easier living out here. People respect you. Thank you.